All the links you need to join my chat or take action on the course or the mentorship are here. Otherwise, click that Twitter link to private message me. How's it going YouTube? It's Louis Crypto here. I'm back with another update for you on a potential gem. So this is another crypto that's been requested by a subscriber. I must tell you that so you are aware. And this was suggested by Gavin down here. Remember James last week, we looked at a, a 100x token simply because James suggested it over here. So we have to say thank you to James. And today we need to say thank you to Gavin for this update on this crypto called Theta. Now Theta, I have made some videos in the past on Theta and even another coin called Theta Fuel, which I'll also be doing an update on thanks to Gavin. Now I have done updates in the past, but this was so long ago back in the 2021 bull market. And we can see that today in this current bear or the beginning of the bull, we're seeing that Theta Network is at a rank of about 51. And the current market cap over here on CoinGecko is about $1 billion. We've got a total supply of 1 billion or max supply, so this will never go higher than this. But what I do like about uh, Theta is what it does, but not only that, who founded Theta? So let's go down now and check this out over here. What is Theta? So Theta is a network, well, Theta Network is a decentralized video streaming network. So, whoa, should I move over there, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, a video streaming network that's powered by blockchain technology, love that. Theta allows users to watch videos, content, and get rewarded with their tokens as they share their internet bandwidth and computing resources on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. Besides a lineup of institutional investors like Node Capital, uh, Theta Network is advised by Stephen Chen, co-founder of YouTube, as well as Justin Can, co-founder of Twitch. Wow, incredible backing, doesn't it? I'm not going to look into it more than that. I want you guys to do the fundamental part, but we're going to do some TA on it today. Let's check what the highest price was. The highest price was back over here, sitting at about $13.43. That's what it says right there. I might not be hovering on it exactly, but about $13.43 and today's price of just $1 over here, we can clearly see there's gains to be made here, even if it's just returning to where it was. Now I'm gonna bring your attention to the Theta Network chart over here. I'm using the crypto one or the trading view chart. So it's just, yeah, just using the trading view chart for it. Let me know if there is another chart that goes back beyond here, 20, January 20, 2018. So let me know in the comment section below if you can find any of them. CoinGecko was wrong or maybe this could be wrong, but this is suggesting a price uh, that topped out about $16. Incredible. So from today's price, we're going to get about a 15x, aren't we? 15, 16x from today's current price. So long term, long term, this is a great buy. Of course, any price underneath $16 will be a great buy. So if let's say in two years time, we're at $16, I'll still believe in my eyes, personally, this is a great buy. Anything beyond there, this is where for me, it starts to get risky. Not that it won't continue higher beyond 16. I do believe that. But any investments beyond 16, I would also believe that in a bear market, those would actually be taken away. Those gains would be taken away if we're investing higher than the all time high. So this is what I personally like to do. I like to do all my investing below the high. So for last time around 20K, I like to do my investing before 20K was broken for Bitcoin. And then as we saw, the bottom was 15K. So yes, if you're adding at 30, 40, 50, 60, you would have made some short term gains. But as soon as the bear market came, any investments that were, you know, even at 20K for some point, uh, at some point did go into minus. So this is why I'm just suggesting it's best to do all your buying or most of 80, 90% of your buying below the all time high. And we can see that today's current price is sitting 93% away from the high. So incredible we can actually also see on the weekly time frame that we're currently below the 20 200 sorry the 200 weekly moving average this, this for me is always the optimal entry point for any crypto but yeah it actually does suggest we're in a downtrend over here but as we saw there's a limit to how many tokens there are so with that again as people lose their tokens lose their wallets get hacked and or whatever there's going to be less and less on the market just like with bitcoin there will forever be 21 million. No one can change that. And there will be people losing it and so on and so forth. And so we're going to see price rising. So 
same sort of tokenomics. Obviously, there's a lot more coins here, but same sort of tokenomics. There's a cap to it. We're not going to keep inflating the supply. So that's what I do like about Theta, as well as who actually founded Theta itself, the Theta network. And um, some levels that I want to look at today, I'm going to be using the Fibonacci's. First of all, what I must say is that I'm, I need to measure this massive wave up. Look at the gains from this low back in uh, essentially the COVID crash. March 2020, we sort of <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. I'm not even going to try and say that. But from the, uh, no, my apologies. I was going to measure this bit, but we'll do that in a second. I need to measure the wave up first. So from this low to this high over here, we can see that we've actually bounced off the 0.5 fib, about 75 cent on this previous resistance now holding as support. So we can see that the candles went a little bit lower. So I'm going to draw this as an area. I'm looking at the left here and then I'm looking at the right again. I'm trying to catch that support. So at the, the lowest candles and make this green. So going forward, we can't have theta losing this. It would suggest nasty dumps. So in the meantime, hold this low. Now, because we've already pumped from this low, I need to also look in and dive in deeper over here. So I will go to the daily time frame now where we can see this nice rally ever since the end of the year or the beginning of this year. And so I'm going to measure from the lowest point now to the highest as we just did previously. And in this occasion, it actually came all the way down to the 618. So because it went a little bit lower, I'm just going to draw a key level of support over here. A nice little box. We can just call this the golden pocket still if you want to. And... Um, what we need to do going forward is maintain this. And we can see that after maintaining it right here and bouncing, we created a higher low on the 0.5 fib. So we've got another level of support uh, right here from the 0.5 at 96 cent down to about 94 cent. So these are two key areas of support that I want to see maintained. Otherwise, it would seem that we're trying to create the reversal wave and head back down to the one fib level down over here. If you're not really following along with what's going on today, I'm happy to announce that I'm doing a discount over the next week on my course and my one-to-one -one mentorship. So all you need to do is click the link in the description or the pinned comment section or in the top right corner and it'll bring you over here where you can private message me on my Twitter or on my Instagram down here to get uh, access to that discount. Otherwise, you can check out the actual details over here on the course and the mentorship. But please do message me so I can send you a link uh, to get it discounted. But yeah, again, thank you, Gavin, for taking action on the YouTube TA on any crypto. And we'll just continue with this. So you guys need to thank uh, Gavin for this, essentially. But uh, as we can see, we're holding the low that we were when we were zoomed out, which was that 0.5 FIP. Then we've had this nice rally and a retracement back down to key levels of support. So that's totally fine. And we're looking to create a higher low in which we've done and now need to hold that higher low. So we made a high and we made a higher high. And the only way we're going to come back to this top over here is by maintaining this. So on the loss of 96 and 94 cent, it would suggest that this is a lower high and we're now trying to go lower than this, which would be a lower low, suggesting that we're coming for this. Can that break then if we're coming for that? If we're going to lose this, we're coming for this. On the loss of this, the reversal wave is created and we will head back up down to the one fib level, which sits at about 71 cent. So that would be the key levels of support. If that one fib level is lost, these are my targets. These targets will not be met as long as we're holding our low. So at the moment, it's all fine. I will make a further update on Theta in the future in case it loses it or it holds it and we break the high. So it's quite clear for me. On the break of $1.30, we're going to start pumping. But now where? Pumping to where? This is what I need to find out for you guys today. So I'm going to head back to the weekly time frame. And uh, we can see from the top now, right there, to this low. We're now trying to head back up to the golden pocket up here. This is very high. It's going to take some time. It could even be one whole year away plus, maybe less, maybe more, maybe exactly a year. I don't personally know and anyone telling you that they do know is completely lying. The only thing that we can say is that these will be retested at some point in the near future because if the bottom is in, you need to retrace at least halfway for continuation. So if it wants to go lower than this, we still need to come up minimum to the 382. So I would believe that $2 minimum is going to be met for theta network and that would be of course a double over here just slightly over a double 130 percent so nice to see and i like that uh 
I'm saying that this is like a sort of a minimal target because we can actually see to the left over here, there are some key areas of support and resistance. So I'm going to get rid of this now and we're going to zoom into that area on the weekly time frame. So we've got some wick support here down at about $2.27. And as we go across, we can see that's exactly on that body candle close and we're using this area's resistance. We've got some support over here, uh, about $1.90. So a key area. We can just call it about two dollars. So between two dollars and two, what was it, two thirty? There is some key support slash resistance. So I'm going to now draw that out for you guys. Oh, so let's drag it from there to about two dollars. There we go. So yeah, using it as resistance, and then on the break we're continuing. Now it should act as support, but again it failed because we lost our moving averages, and then we broke the resistance. And then we basically on the loss of that want to return where we just came from. So how did we get from here to there? We had to break this resistance to get to there in which we found a new resistance came down a little bit down to here. Let's check how much that was percentage wise. Oh, it doesn't look crazy at all. But yeah, in two weeks, three weeks, it went down 42%. So it doesn't look crazy at all, but it actually was. And we can see that once we push through this area, yeah, we, we completely carried on. So that's why going forward, if we were to ever break above this resistance point, we've got a lot of gains ahead of us. Look at this. So we would actually be expecting a similar sort of thing. We would be expecting the exact same thing and in actual fact, further gains because we need to go ahead and break our all time high and head to new targets. So we'll get you these targets right now to look at where theta could go. And then, yeah, we'll also be comparing it to the market cap, like a, what today's market cap is. And then if it's getting up to these price points, what the market cap will be at those price points. So if we're now sitting at $1 and we can clearly see over here that on the break of our all time high, about $16, we will head to a minimal target of $37 now from today's current price. Yes, it of course, 37 times higher. And so we just need to basically calculate that in accordance to the uh, total market or not the total market, yeah, the market cap at the moment. And so, okay, if we're saying this is 36 times, 35 times, 36 times, sorry, 37, 36 to 37 times, then we just do that over here. So almost a 40 billion market cap right here. Now this would be the first target. So we could be seeing almost a 40X for Theta. Now on the second target, it's almost a 60X because we're coming from $1 and almost heading to 60 right there. So essentially, because it's quite simple, the current market cap is 1 billion. So it's just 1 billion times this, times this, times this. So could Theta get to a 100 billion market cap this bull run? I'm not too certain it can. If it does, incredible, it is a Fibonacci target. It just doesn't say when this will be met, just that it will. And the only way these targets, all of these targets will be met is on the reclaim of this low, of course, on this uh, resistance, which was this low over here. We need to break above that range high to now actually open up the potential possibility of these price targets being met. I do believe that 37 is a given because it's the first target. I just don't believe that this is a given. I do believe this will eventually be met, but it could be in the next bull run. I could be wrong. We could do 100x. That would be incredible. I'd love that to be the case, but I don't know. Personally, I just don't believe so. I could be wrong, but I would at least expect a 30, 40x on Theta Network. So about a 40 billion market cap in and around there. But we need further confirmation. Yes, it would be nice to get above this key level of resistance and support. And yeah, looking for this nice 500%, 600% pump over here. But we also need to do a few more things. Can you see that when we continued up to here, as we started to come down, we built up a lot of uh, support in this on, on this golden line, this horizontal line. That's the 618 fib. So again, it's very close to a psychological uh, level. So I'm just going to use the psychological level because yes, that's saying $4.84, but slightly above that $5, that will be a brick wall. So I would need $5 to be cleared. So over on Theta uh, Network, I need $5 to be broken and only then would I believe, yes, we're now heading to 15 and then over to 30, 37 plus. So anywhere between 37, 57 could be our top. You might even push through a little bit uh, above this, but I'm now being conservative. This is what I wish I did in the last bull run. A lot of people were talking about 100K plus 200K plus Bitcoin and Bitcoin topped out exactly on the 1618, about 61,000, I think the 1618 was. 
that obviously suggests data could get up there, but I'm not going to be calling and screaming for that right now. We're calling for at least the 30 to 40 X over here on data. And I hope you guys found this video of value. Let me know in the comment section below if you did. If you want to take action on my course, my mentorship, I know this was a longer video today, but it had to be in depth. And yeah, please do private message me. If you want TA on any crypto, as Gavin and James did in the last week, you can click this link. If you want a single mentorship session to see how it goes, for me to discuss anything that you want, any struggles that you have, any crypto charts that you want to look at, we can spend one hour together if you click this. There are also other membership levels. If you just want to join my chat, here we go. We've also sat, had someone in the last week or so join the private TA where they have access to talking to me absolutely every hour of the day if they want. And then I'll actually help them out through messaging. Now, if you want all of the above, as well as a mentorship session each month of one hour long, you can get the VIP membership. Otherwise, head over to the bookings over here because I'm going to be discounting this for the next week. This will be down to £90. And over here, the full plan will be discounted to £500. And I will also include my £150 course for free. I'm also going to allow you guys to join my Discord community for three months so you can see how it is. And, and afterwards, you can decide if you want to continue on. For any uh, student or members, once this runs out, sorry, for any student, when this runs out, you will have the membership levels half price. So what, as you can see over here, to join the chat, it'd be 20. But if you're a past student of mine, after those three months are done, you can now join for 10 pounds a month. And any public, it will be 20. And this is where I post all my personal crypto investments, cryptos that I'm in, cryptos that I will buy, and any trades that I do uh, take, I'll be uh, reviewing them in there and I'll also be posting them in there. But everything is time sensitive. So you have to have your notifications on because yesterday, if we go over to my Twitter over here, look, some people were absolutely killing the markets yesterday. 65% from Glyph. Max over here, 77%. Max is a crackhead. Max does 100x uh, leverage. So he's the 100x king in our Discord community. Honestly, that's all he does. I have never seen him do less than 100. It's so crazy, Max. But he's the Saudi prince or billionaire, we call him. <laughs> But uh, over here, uh, we, we did trade this in the chat and I posted this in the chat over here where we took this trade because the high was broken. And, you know, just in case this one was a fake out, I waited for that high to be broken in which we entered. My stop loss wasn't here, wasn't even using a stop loss for this trade. I was super confident. But yeah, if I were to, it would have been down over here. And we can see that we actually came up and profited at about 24%. So that was all in the chat and uh, my thought process for that. And yeah, this trade only lasted five or six minutes. So this is what I meant by it's time sensitive. So keep those notification bells on if you were to join my membership. Again, you can just click this link over here. You don't have to private message me. I'll be email prompted if you do take action and I'll private, uh, I'll email you back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, please do click the links in the description and in the pinned comment section and message me on my Twitter if you want a link to the discounted rates. Thank you guys.